Hello everyone, I'm Neya and welcome back to my channel. In today's pick a card reading that is being requested by you guys, we're going to find out together what you need to hear from your spirit guides and angel. And if you ask for a sign, this is your sign for you. So please go ahead and select your pile, pause the video if you need, and don't worry about it. You're going to be able to see the cards on the table and to choose up close. And I see you guys later for each and every one of your pile. Welcome, pile number one. You selected the Chinese beer kind of thing over here that I found that my dad like randomly took the, the other day. So I thought, why not? Someone might want to select the Chinese beer. So whatever it is, or maybe you felt drawn to this pile, let's see together what spirit guides and angels wanted you, want you to know right now. And this is your sign from the universe. I have included not only the tarot, but as well as love cards and career cards. So we can get a general message throughout your entire existence, I guess. So, so let's see take only what resonates with you it goes without saying so all right all right so the first card that I am seeing is the five of pentacles, but don't worry about it. This is the only negative card that I am seeing for you guys. So with the five of pentacles, we do have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And this card tells me that for a while, you have been dealing with a lot of frustration, a lot of stress, or a lot of worries so when it comes down to your finances and your career. Maybe you had to recoup a little bit of money. You had extra bills to pay. Maybe some of you might have lost your job. Whatever it could be, this is is a sense of stagnation of lack in matters of love it could be that you have been even blocked or left out in the cold or left by someone or simply someone might even have ghosted you with the five of pentacles i'm sorry my neighbors they have been doing like banging on the wall like upstairs since this morning and if you can hear it i totally apologize so maybe this is also a sign from the universe that it's like you need to want you want to change your home space or there is some things like they're banging in your head and it's been quite of a challenging times so due to this energy because we do energies over here of lack and scarcity but the good news is that actually i hope you can see the cards if i lay them lay down in the table like this um the good the good news is we have three major arcana and I don't even know where to start like we do have the judgment card as the first major arcana that I'm seeing for you so this is a very phoenix vibe but this is Archangel Gabriel with his trumpet calling you forth uh, you're speaking up your truth you're getting revelations clarity but generally speaking the judgment card really talks about rising from a deep uh, very challenging times so almost like you were dead or you have had some sort of like ego death and now you feel better than before so maybe this is something that you're not actually experiencing by the time that you are watching this video but pile number one very soon you are going to experience some sort of rebirth now if we are talking about love or someone in particular in relationship 
to go from the five of pentacles to the judgment it tells me that there is a lot of truth that in my opinion in this connection is going to get revealed to you but the judgment card most of the time does symbolize in my opinion not only revelation but truly reconciliations of some sort because the truth is being shared now why i'm saying this is because i do have also the pisces vibe and high priestess okay so the high priestess usually what it means that first and foremost that you need to tune in to your intuition so maybe yes you have been feeding a little bit of scarcity or lack mentality because things have been actually quite challenging like we were saying before but actually this is a sign from the universe that is telling you that no things don't have to be always that hard actually there is going to be a better time very soon and you are about to rebirth but at the same time the universe cannot do everything for you you need to co-create with the universe so what that means that you tune yourself with your highest self you are on the path of self-improvement and you listen to the guidance that you are receiving from this pick a card or from other sources or signs or synchronicities out there or even within yourself and you're taking the right step to have this new rebirth in your life in general whether this involves career or just other aspects in your life now when it comes down to relationships relationship with the high priestess like I was mentioning before I think that there was a little bit of secrecy or with the high priestess there is something that you are feeling maybe there are even vivid dreams like there is something in the 50 or in the higher dimension that you are picking up upon and you know it's gonna happen like perhaps if you have been left out in the cold you feel that you're gonna have a new rebirth or you feel that there is going to be a reconciliation or if we're talking about a crush you feel that this person is going to ask you out with the judgment card even though nothing seems to happen you know you have a feeling with the high priestess but yet the high priestess like i was mentioning is also a card of secrecy so there are some things that you are not aware of you might be aware of if you tune yourself into your intuition but they're not really that visible so with the judgment card and the high priestess you are going from a period of stagnation and lack and feeling left out in the cold to a period very soon where you're gonna have so much more clarity about the situation so far and you're gonna have like some mystical revelations or even epiphanies about a connection or yet yet again in general about your life or both possibly because we are not just about career or just about relationship and this is why I like to include every example in my readings. so good news is that many times that I hear from psychics or I even read the tarot for myself and I'm like like, oh geez there's gonna be judgment like what is it like what type of revelation is gonna be spirit because not not all revelation are positive right but for you pile number one I am seeing the Empress card the Taurus or Libra so we are talking about abundance we are talking about happy joyful time we are talking about you refining your power you being the Empress no matter the sex we're doing energies over here as usual so also if we are talking about a connection this person is definitely reconciling with you after leaving you out in the cold because he's recognizing your light with the empress he's very passionate about you feels that you are a goddess or a god like it really maybe this person was keeping the option open for everyone else and then he realized like what am i doing my queen my empress is over there now generally speaking in life and in matters of career if you have been feeling stagnant and have been feeling with the five of pentacles that you don't have enough money money to you know run your life well there is going to be some sort of renovation happening for you guys like I said but it's very important with the high priestess that you also co-create with the universe and make sure that you're listening to your intuition you know what I'm talking about if this message is resonating with you that you listen to those downloads that you are receiving from the universe and you take action because they are going to be very prosperous action the outcome of this action I mean the consequence it's going to be very with the empress card now it could also be that for a small portion of you if you have been thinking that uh, if you have been struggling with pregnancy or perhaps that you want to have a child but with this five of pentacles it wasn't really going that well I am seeing that actually the universe with Archangel Gabriel which is the Archangel uh, that 
comes, I believe, is him to the mother Mary and tells them the story that she's finally pregnant. That could be also a news for some of you who were interested in becoming pregnant and they were struggling for a really long time. I know this is very specific, so just take it only if it resonates, but I think it's worth mentioning. And it's going to be a baby girl if you are going to have a child. So that's something that some of you needed to hear. So let's see. Oh, I love it. So we do have the card of success for you guys so like I said like you have been dealing with a lot of challenging times for whatever reason but I am telling you that whatever it is that you have asked the universe whatever sign that you want it you are gonna have success so this card could imply that you have asked about yes or no kind of question obviously if you did this is a yes from the universe if you have asked about a specific person this is yes this person is uh, a potential soulmate for you guys or definitely there is some sort of story that it's going to get unfold between you two or if you asked about career or whether or not you are on the right path or whether or not you are going to be successful with what you're doing and your endeavors with the success card it just tells us that yes you are on the right path it's really for you I feel pile number one a matter of aligning yourself with your deepest intuition like maybe with the five of pentacles you have been listening a lot to what other people were thinking or saying about you or about your endeavors about a specific relationship whatever it could be like and you kind of have lost yourself in the opinions of others or maybe in the false uh, voice of your ego that is diminishing you and telling you that you will never do it but actually with the high priestess and the judgment card I really Really feel that you're gonna have like an epiphany very very soon where you're gonna realize that no this is not true I am not meant to be in luck I'm not meant to not trust my intuition actually my intuition is correct my intuition is spot-on I should follow it and I will have abundance and success out of it because I know what I feel and no one else is me and no one else can hear the voice of my soul not even a psychic right so also as another addition Additional message that I have for you guys in matters of career or life purpose I am seeing that you guys are earth angels so now you guys ask me all the time what is the difference between a light worker and an earth angel well to be honest the outcome is still the same both of these people or these beings are actually coming here into this existence to bring light and love to people and to awakening them and to help them out raising their vibration the only difference is that anybody can be a light worker which is great and it's just about showing your light to others and helping them out and helping them planet at large earth angels are just a tiny bit different because their soul basically comes from a, like it's an extension of an angel so basically in the spirit world they might not even have past lives or things like that if you guys believe in past lives but they're just like living angels they have incarnated as angels and they they have a very high frequency right so that is the only difference but to be honest they're doing the same exact work so it doesn't matter to label yourself for other people and none of them are better than others to be honest so um you are though an earth angel which tells me that you are a very pure individual and actually one of your purpose in this planet is to be an environmentalist or definitely even if you don't do it like you work for a humanitarian cause or anything like that but definitely you are here to awaken people to the importance of saving the planets and their animal you are here and you are born to protect nurture and teach about nature and the animals and I mean I don't know if you have recently watched the news but guys Gaia our mother is in need of our help there are so many animals that are losing their habitats they're getting illegally hunted they are super endangered species so if you feel the call to do something for the animals or for the environment please do so it just takes not a lot it could even be small things in your house uh, minding what you're eating minding how much you are you know utilizing plastic or making a donation for a 
foundation for an endangered species. Like for instance, on the 29th of July, I don't know when I'm going to post this video, but I'm going to mention it anyway. On the 29th of July, it's going to be worldwide day for the tigers. And as we know, there are only a few tigers left in the wild, even though America is full of, you know, of tigers, but they are not wild tigers. The real genetics, and I mean, it's different because you guys need to, and I'm only saying this part number one because you are an earth angel. It's different to have animals in captivity. I don't necessarily have anything wrong with keeping the species alive in captivity, but you have to understand that genetically there is a difference and the purity of having tigers in the wild or having the genetics of the Bengal tiger or the Sumatran tiger or the Siberian tiger, that it's only going to be fine in the wild. Not even mentioning that they're so important for our ecosystems as any animal is. And so if you can make a donation for the tigers, since they are an endangered species and they're getting killed primarily by men and illegal hunting, well, um, that will be great. Or you can do any donation to any sort of foundation that you like. I follow, for example, Kevin Richardson Foundation here on YouTube, and I always give, uh, give donation to his sanctuary because I really love that I can see his work also here on YouTube. But you can choose Vuvo F or any others that you feel drawn to if you can't do anything like physically for the animals or for the environment but think about it because I also see this pile number one as a message for you guys and it just slipped through my message in this big card reading so you, we just get you know an additional help for mother earth and for the animals because I, I deeply care about it and I'm sure you deeply care about it too pile number one so that was just a tiny little bit parenthesis that I am seeing for you so getting engaged in something like that will definitely bring you success and will definitely be part of your purpose okay so that's something that you needed to hear then in matters of love the card that i've drawn for you it's forgiving and learning so definitely there has been some rocky time with a specific individual or maybe just in general in your life in case you're single or not thinking about anyone or you didn't never had a boyfriend or a girlfriend um i think that this card is very specific for people that have been dealing with someone specific or they have been dealing with a lot of struggles in regards to love i think that you guys have fought or you have left them they have blocked you or or vice versa and I feel that a lot of what has happened is going to be released and forgiven now for some of you it could be that forgive uh, forgiving and release for those of you who don't want anyone back it could be that just your energy is going to get purged and therefore you're going to get more abundance and success out of that but for the people who want someone back or are dealing with a crush perhaps or a day or something like that and things have been rocky for a while uh with a judgment card for me and the forgiving and learning card this is a confirmation sorry aki wants to be here this is a confirmation that you are going to heal the past that you guys have together and with the judgment card you are going to reconcile because I do really feel that the judgment card yes is clarity but it's also reconciliation so um, forgive if you can also because that allows you to have more love in the present moment which ultimately makes you attract better love also if you are not interested about anyone in particular now I'm also having some message channeled for you so the first message that I have is transformation and the second message is flirt a fling so take it as it resonates but it goes like without saying that the transformation card is very much connected with the five of pentacles about what you need to hear right now it's almost like your entire belief system is transforming from a vibration of lack like I said of not having enough or being left out in the cold this is gonna get transformed very soon you are about to have a rebirth like I said and there is something changing within yourself and there is a very strong alignment happening with within your consciousness. Now, in matters of other people, relationship, and so on and so forth, like I said, it could be that this relationship is getting transformed, you are getting transformed, or the other person through forgiveness and learning, yeah, is learning something and transforming, and they're coming back to you. I can see that very strongly. Or there is some sort of energy that is getting renewed in matters of love. So, for example, if you're single, because you are releasing and transforming some energy that is stemming 
coming from the past that you are actually opening yourself up to more dates and flings and flirts which can be positive because with the Empress card he's gonna give you a lot of abundance a lot of confidence and generally I do feel that people are going to be very very attracted by your light lately so this gonna this is gonna help you out in many areas of your life and eventually I really do feel that you are meant to have a lot of success so you need to hear this don't give up on anything that you're doing because the success card it's here and this is a deck of 44 cards and the success card is only one and you got it so that must mean something now I'm also seeing number 22 for you guys so perhaps there is a lot of signs and synchronicities that you're seeing recently with the number 22 or you will be when you are going to be in alignment or about to manifest the success that I'm seeing for you guys so really pay attention to the number 22 that is also represented by the card of safe travel so for some of you there is going to be either an invitation by a person to travel together our holiday or you are meant to travel in this lifetime and this is the sign that you needed to hear right now from spirit but there is no shadow of a doubt that whatever travel that you are about to do it is safe and protected and it's going to be far away from your home so I, I'm not necessarily seeing that you're going to really locate somewhere else but there is some sort of traveling travel happening for you pile number one that you need to hear about so let me get one last card that for you my loves pile number one just to know what you need to hear from spirit the moon with the high priestess and the lover's card at the bottom of the deck so this is very specific but with the lover's card and also the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck um we also have the four of swords like i literally seeing that you feel that nothing is happening like the moon card there is something that you're not aware of there is like vivid dreams with the high priestess you need to tune yourself to your intuition and knowing that what you're dreaming about what you're feeling is gonna happen okay don't doubt it this is what spirit wants you to know and also it's dream because we have the four of swords but also with the four of swords you feel that nothing is ever gonna happen you don't feel anything coming but this is not true there is there is a new beginning coming for you and for many of you this could have have um, sorry my English this has to do with love or has to do with some sort of soulmate relationship or someone that it's dear to your heart for some others of you who are not interested in love this is about making a very strong decision a very transformative decision pile number one that is going to lead you away from stagnation or not clarity but I see that you are going to make this decision because you're following your heart your highest call with this earth angel card you are forgiving and learning your past experience and aligning through the spiritual transformation yourself towards the journey with that safe travel card that it's lying ahead of you because your soul is showing where you're supposed to go and this new journey with the judgment card and the ace of cups whether it's going to involve career or love it's going to lead you to enormous success so absolutely if you have to get anything from spirit from this reading pile number one is that you need to stop doubting your intuition and fall it because it's leading you exactly where you need to be with this success card okay i hope you can see it okay pile number one this is all that i got for you today thank you so much for your support comment down below to share your stories remember that i also post extra pico card on my patreon links are all down below also for my private courses and i see you guys later in another of our pico card readings okay pile number two welcome to your reading you have selected the clear quartz so let's figure out together your sign from the universe and what you need to hear right now from your spirit guides and angel i have put so so many cards tarot career love we're gonna cover a little bit of everything because you guys are so many so keep in mind this is a general reading and take only what resonates so okay okay donkey donkey so you guys have a lot a lot a lot of cards what's up like there are so many things that have been happening into your life first of all i want to show you the five of wands so aries leo or sagittarius so with the five of wands pile number two it just tells me that there's been some argument maybe with friends maybe with a lover maybe in your job there has been some competition like heavy competition that you had to deal with and or an heavy argument that you had to to deal with maybe some harsh word have been exchanged and i'm saying this because we do have the king 
king of swords this is aquarius gemini or libra it could be a male or female it doesn't really matter but what i'm seeing is that something it's been happening that it's been quite harsh okay so and this has to do with words like some harsh words have been have been spread and i feel that either um you have blocked someone or you got blocked or you have said no enough to this enough to a work situation because you couldn't take the tension and the frustration and the anger anymore there was so much anger and uh, it could be that some of you are dealing with some legal matters and it's been quite challenging. Now, obviously, this is going to be only for a couple of you, but definitely I'm hearing that you have been quite assertive where you're like, I'm not going back there anymore. I don't want this anymore. Like, it's over. I'm done and through. It's like, lead me, lead me out spirit from this confusion. Lead me out of it. I need clarity. I need boundaries. I need to, you know play some rules for myself and others in a way where they understand that I don't want to argue anymore and you kind of like shut down or a person has done this to you and so let's see what else you are coming across or the other person as the queen of cups Pisces Cancer or Scorpio so I am seeing probably this is you some you are very loving you are very you have mastered the realm of emotion like I mean even if you're dealing with someone in specific you guys are on the same vibrational level when it comes down to maturity because we are seeing the king and the queen it's just that you function your language is quite different you if you are identifying with the queen of cups you are someone that is very compassionate you love unconditionally you want to give love and the other person could be very cold and detached instead or the opposite but whatever is this for you i feel that you have learned how to place some healthy boundaries and like i said that this could be for friendship, love, career, whatever it could be, okay? And the Queen of Cups is someone that, yes, has mastered emotion. Yes, she's very loving and compassionate. But at the same time, she's not someone or she or he that gives her her or his cup away that easily. And because there is going to be the five of there is the five of wands, I feel that it's almost like you have retreat from a situation or from a person. And now you are patiently watching with an open heart. It's like, I had enough of this and I am not going to put myself forward anymore yet again it could be career it could be love and now you're like i'm just going to be me i'm going to do me and my cup is here when someone wants to take it but i am making sure that i am not the one that's overly giving all the time and this could be a clear message that you're sending out there just in general in the universe that you are ready for a more reciprocal relationship or that you are ready to just get away from drama in general with that five of wands we do also have the temperance card which tells me that um, this is again another card of you balancing yourself or having the necessity to balance yourself and this is what you need to hear from spirit but at the same time it just gives me this vibe of like I am patiently waiting I am waiting for things to unfold I just know that I don't want to be in resistance anymore pile number two you don't want to be in resistance and you are you're having enough with drama you're like I'm done. Like, I don't want to deal with that chaotic energy ever again. And I'm saying this because if only the five of wands was present, maybe we're still dealing with that energy. But because we do have the king of uh, the king of swords, it's like it's all, like you're done. You're putting a wall. You're cutting. You're cutting through all the BS, and you're like, I am patiently waiting for either something better or for something to change. But I am not gonna pursue that drama anymore. Like you're putting away yourself from drama, whether this is stemming from a career or it's stemming from a love or romantic relationship or from friendship. Okay. Now we do also have the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, which tells me yet again is another confirmation of these challenging times of like putting the effort of being in a fighting mode like I am sensing that some of you might have been dealing with someone really specific and it was always like a fight with this person always constant fight constant fight with this seven of wands and it's like but when are you going to stop fighting and start talking or even with the queen of cups and king of swords opening your heart to what really matters with the temperance card and it's almost like spirit is advising you right now to just really be quiet 
observe with the temperance card and see where your intuition is leading you because with the temperance card if you will have patience is leading you somewhere so much better where there is less drama and even less effort which doesn't mean that you don't have to take a leap of faith or you don't have to make an effort in regards to manifesting your dream but when it's like this effort where you're always giving and giving and there's this push and pull kind of energy and you're feeling drained that's where you know you're not exactly with the right person or in the right path right so i am seeing you with the temperance card retreating from something but we also do have the six of cups which talks about children it talks about memories from the past it talks about past lives and reconciliations of some sort and soulmates so um some of you it's about retreating from a career and making putting the effort sorry for what you always wanted to do since you were children so it's almost like you're going back to yourself in the spirit or definitely this is the suggestion from spirit for some others of you who are asking about love it's like because you have retreated and you are actually being protected there is divine intervention i'm feeling um i'm actually thinking that someone that either blocked you or created a lot of drama in your life wants to come back to you because right now they realize that they want to put the effort but there is some sort of like soul bond with the six of cups and this is a past life relationship if you guys believe in past life now let's get some additional tarot before we see the oracles just to understand better what could be your situation but if you have to get anything out of this reading pile number two is that you need to retreat you need to balance yourself and it's good that you have put a block to anything that was creating some drama in your life um, Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, you could be dealing with. Eight of Wands talks about new opportunities, receiving messages, and having very fast communication, which is also highlighted at the bottom of the deck by the Ace of Swords. So I am seeing that, yeah, I feel that you have blocked someone or you have blocked a situation, you have retreated, or that's what you are advised to do, not do anything, and just following your heart and taking care of the heart chakra, be, and because you are doing this, there is some sort of divine intervention that is going to lead to a better communication in the situation or with a specific individual. And it could be that the seven of wands is this individual wanting right now to make the effort for you or yeah, it's that the sun card and this is exactly what you should do because it's leading you to that abundance that success that positivity is leading you back to yourself to have more of an optimistic outlook on life and it's leading you to manifest the better opportunities so the advice the real advice whatever could be your situation from spirit is to retreat self-love with the queen of cups and waiting for this divine intervention maybe you are a kind of person with the five of wands and the seven of wands that is kind of a go-getter where you always want to confront people you always want to have things your way or just simply you know when there is like even a fight you want to have the last word or you want to reconnect this person and say hey i'm sorry let's figure it out but I'm seeing that right now spirit is advising you not to do anything but to really give that love to yourself with the queen of cups and the temperance card because they are making sure that the situation is getting res is getting resolved sorry without you doing anything but actually with the other person or the other situation or whatever it could be making the effort to come towards you okay very intense energy for my pile number two but there is the sun so even though you feel that you have been caught up in drama or you have been caught up in fights the world actually it's over with because you said it's over when energetically even knight of swords at the bottom of the deck when energetically you don't participate anymore in the drama of other people you don't give that energy you, your focus is not there you set some very clear boundaries about where you're standing in the world and what you want well that's the energy that comes back at you so whether it is a specific person or just generally speaking situation in your 
life, I am seeing that you are about to have some very positive renovations, some very positive messages, new opportunities in matters of career, and you are about to experience a huge success of some sort with the sun and the world together. It could be that this is a success online with the world card symbolizing online and the net, the worldwide net, or it's just simply, if it is about love, it is about a connection that is finally uh, showing up for the positivity that it should be. You know, how can I put it? It's like there has been chaos, there has been drama, there has been fight, but now because you have sent a very specific message through your action, through retraining, there is going to be some heart to heart conversation with the eight of wands, some and the sun card, some positive conversation of like, okay, but I really miss you with the six of cups. So what are we going to do about it? And you're just staying silent and observing the other person and see what they want to do. Okay. It could be also in matters of career. It's like you, um, retreating from a situation that was toxic or was creating drama. And because of divine intervention and because of your boundaries and your assertiveness, you are going back to a sort of passion or talent that you were developing even when you were a child. And this is leading you to so much more happiness, joy, and abundance, or this is what you should do. Spirit is saying, because it's going to lead to opportunities with the eight of wands and very strong communications. Also with the eight of wands, pay very close attention to the signs the universe is giving you, whether they are signs about, you know, seeing a feather or music or numbers, you know, you, you know what you asked for, but their signs are coming. Okay. So, um, I'm also seeing the card of no. So I really feel and I'm sorry, like my neighbors upstairs, they're, they're doing like some work and it's been all morning like this. I really apologize if you can hear them with the no card. I really feel that you have said no to something or to someone or someone has said no to you. But if that has happened to you, for instance, I just want you to know that it's divinely guided with the temperance card. It is a blessing in disguise. Like rejection is always a blessing from God. And there is so much better that it's about to, to come come to you and potentially could be even a soulmate or something that is fated to happen in your life that is going to lead you to so much more abundance and you feeling more powerful with the world card and at the center of attention. So there is been a no, or you have said no to something, or you want to say no to something. And if you want to say no to something, pal number two, you should, this is what spirit is saying. The answer is no, but because it's not because the answer is no, that there is doom. The answer is no. And then there is the sun card. Then there is the light. Then there is what you're meant to do. Then there is like happiness, joy, contentment. So take this no as a blessing in disguise. Now, also I have the card for you of freedom. You're free to do what you choose. So maybe some of you have been obsessing about what is my purpose? What should I do in my life? And um, to be honest with the world card, the sun, the eight of wands, it's like you are either already doing what you're supposed to do, or you're thinking about doing what you're supposed to do. And spirit is protecting you right now. And it's telling you that it's not because you have received some rejection that you will always receive rejection. It's just meant to be in order to make you freer. There is like, I feel that what you need to get from this reading is that liberating yourself from drama, from that five of wands, it's not because you like, it's not against you. It's the best thing that you can possibly do right now. Retreating is the best thing that you possibly can do right now. And it's honestly not only leading you to more success and more opportunities in whatever area of your life you're asking about, but it's leading you to more power and more liberation and more freedom. So this is a suggestion from spirit to really, really liberate yourself from that five of wands, from this drama and chaos and people rejecting you perhaps or not understanding you very very closely or very deeply. Okay. Now in regards to your love life, I am seeing stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So whatever situation you have been dealing with, I feel that with the sun guard and stay optimistic, it's, there is going to be better times. It's just that 
you don't necessarily have to do anything about it you apart from being optimistic and have faith i really feel that the more you're going to liberate yourself from this drama the more you are aligning back yourself to who you really are and it's just gonna come like by by virtue of remaining faithful and optimistic if you are uh, open for a reconciliation honestly the more you're going to show yourself up to be optimistic to do your own thing to be under the sun energy and say no to things that are not really serving you at all the more you will actually have this reconciliation because it's just the energy that you're giving off is not desperate but it's full of love and light okay so take it as it resonates also as a channel message that i have for you I guess why and I didn't even see it we do have divine intervention for you my loves so honestly pile number two the more you're gonna try to make things work with your own mind with your own ego the more I feel that you're gonna receive a no from a person or from the universe at large because the universe wants you to stay still at this time to care about your heart space and to allow allow the universe to do his job and there is deep divine intervention happening and i don't think that is something that you can see or you can know what it's going to happen it's just happening already in the back scene like events maybe for instance, pile number two, if you're dealing with someone specific, okay, you might, if, if you text this person, they might not be in the receptive mode right now, but then because there is divine intervention and things that you're not able to see, maybe they're having a transformation, maybe they're having a tower moment or experiences that will lead them back to you eventually anyway, without you doing anything. Or if you're single, you don't necessarily constantly have to manifest or attract, allow divine intervention intervention that happen allow yourself just to be and see what happens by virtue of your vibration by you just don't chase things attract them by living your life at your fullest it's almost like this is a reminder for you that you have a wonderful life and you can't have even better but you don't always have to be desperate or in the midst of chaos and drama to feel alive but you can have so much better just by being yourself just by doing your thing and attracting good, healthy uh, things, careers, or people in your life. And I also have a very specific message for some of you, which is I want children with you. So for some of you, it could be that you're going to have children in your life or you're going to find a partner that will really want to commit to you very soon. So if you were wondering about that, I see this in your future. Or if you're dealing with someone specific, this person is really loves children and they want to commit to you if they didn't previously I don't know I feel with this divine intervention and the world card they could even be a distance from you at this time but whatever it is they have not been able to commit because they were not in that headspace but actually deep down into their heart they want children they might even have told you they want children with you they meant it if they have told you that and through a series of events that that are divine interventions they are circling back and sending you a message saying i want you and i want children with you now obviously this is very specific only for some of you but it's worth mentioning okay then in general in your life what i feel that you need to hear from your spirit guides and angel pile number two it's that there is prosperity coming up into your life so if you were worried about money or about abundance in general well i've seen you listening to frequencies to manifest things i think that is okay because you can sleep and listen to them as long as you're not like pushing for any manifestation you are doing exactly what you should do but with the sun card and the prosperity card and the world card whatever drama you have been dealing with it's over like there is abundance and prosperity coming up into your future and you need to remain optimistic about it so you are making sure that you are allowing this prosperity 
clarity to really be there for you and to come as fast as possible, really, because it is here in the cards. So what is the advice from spirit? Remove yourself from drama, remove yourself from chaos, from dramatic people, assert your boundaries, set, retreat, and allow the universe to uh, intervene in your life. And you'll see some amazing miracles and prosperity coming your way. I literally see this for you. Okay, pile number two. Thank you so much for participating in this reading. Comment down below and share your stories. I remind you that on my Patreon, I also do extra Pico cards. You can check. The link is down below. And even my e-courses and I see you guys later in another of my pick a card readings. Okay, pile number three. You chose the peach candy. I love this. So let's see together what you need to hear from your spirit guides and angel. And yes, this is your sign. And because you guys are so many and these readings are general, take only what resonates with you. But I put tarot, I put romance, romance uh, angel, oracle cards, I put uh, career cards. So we'll just see what message you need to hear. So if it doesn't resonate, don't worry about it. Just let it fly. So, okay, we got so many tarot, it's crazy. So, first and foremost, we do have the Ten of Swords. So, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So, we're starting this energy, and you also actually have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. So, you have Ten, Ten, Ten. Wow. So, You've been dealing with a lot, and uh, and there's a lot coming, pile number three. Now, I feel that you are the only pile where, like, pile number one was more about career, pile number two was more about a specific person. You guys are about everything, really, with the Ten of Pentacles, like, you have been with the Ten of Wands in need to release something, which is kind of a general theme that I'm picking up on all the piles. But for you, what you had to release is like shady friends, shady individual, people that have backstabbed you over and over and over again, or that perhaps they were never really understanding you, they were using you for something. And so be very, very careful because if you feel that you're still in the midst of this energy, I don't think that getting these people to like feeding these people ego it's going to or people pleasing a lot it's going to help you out at all like i really feel that you need to transform this part of yourself that feels that you always have to be there for others or which is good i mean it means that you're a compassionate human being and good, good on you but you know you need to get some reciprocation can you say that in english like it needs to be reciprocate because i am seeing that seriously like either you are quite naive and i hear you out on this one i am even though i don't look like but I am and it's just that you get backstabbed all the time like people talking bad at you or it's like you have been dealing with a lot of betrayal in your romantic life and you just don't understand and this is a, it's burdening your mind because it's like saying I cannot you feel traumatized to pile number three to the point where you're constantly thinking about what other people have done to you and you're like, I don't understand why. I don't understand why. But here's the thing. You are also perpetuating this pattern because you're still focusing on it. So you're almost like seeing the future with the eyes of the past. So what you need to hear at this time is that it's time to forgive learn and let go energetically you need to let go of what has happened to you in the past and heal your trauma possible with a healer psychologist or whatever resonates with you but this energy needs to go ten of pentacles the lucky part is if that if this energy gets away you will actually find better people in your life some of them might even be already present and you will discover who they are as soon as you're going to release this people pleasing mode of yours and no judgment whatsoever like I get it but the ten of pentacles tells me that there is some soul family that wants to help you out or that you are going to reconcile with in matters of career this is a card of prosperity in matters of relationship this is a card of long commitments so it's ear like this card of what you want what you want to experience family commitment warmth friends and success and good money you know the money the amount of money that makes you feel safe right 
it's here but it's only after you have released of the shade you have released what you know you need to release now for some of you this will have to do with simply release memories and traumas for some others of you will have to actually be release of this toxicity of this shady people around you but whatever it is is also about stop focusing on what is going wrong and start focusing on what is going right and it could be just having a roof in your head like don't take that for granted like I had lived in the middle of the street I had moments in my life where I um, like I had to steal food to, uh, to, to, to eat like I'm not ashamed of saying it like I remember it was cheese because it was easy to steal now don't worry about it like it's, it's just happened a couple of times, but I really didn't have the money. So now that I have a house and I have money to buy food, like just the fact that I can have food in my fridge makes me feel blessed and grateful. Like, because many people take that for granted and it's so totally understandable why we take this, this for granted. But seriously, every single day that you're having a meal, every single day that you're having your cup of mocha, tea, coffee, whatever it could be, your cup of tea, just be grateful because you have manifested this and the universe is giving you so much abundance in the form of the present moment. Just know that bad things happen also to good people and I know that you are a good person but it's time right now to rewrite the story that we tell ourselves that you tell yourself pile number three and release the sum of that doom that you have been through okay or that I'm not saying I don't think that you're playing the victim at all if you want my honest opinion like I'm not picking this up from your energy but I'm picking up that you have been through a lot maybe you have been bullied maybe you had people misunderstanding you and I see a lot of backstab especially from friendship and you just don't get it you don't get why bad things happen to good people only God knows and I just I'm not one of these people that I wish I was a spiritual teacher and lighted guru that tells you the exact reason why these people have attracted bad things into their life even if they're good reality I'm none of that I just think only God has the answer and we just we just gotta keep living you know and it's not because uh, bad things have happened and unfortunately bad people do bad things or bad things just exist in this world that we have to believe that everything is bad that we have to believe in this doom future we need to do our contribution no matter what no matter the challenges because at the end of the day pile number three it's only gonna be about you and God it's only gonna be about this person doing the same and dealing with their own karma at their own pace to like release it's it doesn't matter it truly doesn't matter and I feel from your energy that you want to cry right now and I really honestly like I get you like it's sad like I really I don't know exactly what you have been through but it's been really really heavy pile number three it's re it really is and I'm really sorry that people have treated you in this way but it's it's time to release this okay and time to embrace the energy of the present moment realize that there is so much better there is beauty in this life believe it or not and that first of all it starts with gratitude and the gratitude of the present moment with what you have in your own home space because the ten of pentacles does also talk about our home so it could be just simply as being grateful for your home grateful for your family if family is something that you perceive as being supportive and healthy and healthy for you whatever it could be grateful for your paths grateful for a walk in the park grateful because you can see you can speak you can talk you you were healthy perhaps whatever it could be even a tiny small thing start with gratitude while you are releasing this heavy toxic energy or heavy things that have been happening okay pile number three and I'm telling you this is gonna get multiplied if you start doing this with the ten of pentacles and if you have been suffering for not finding your tribe or friends because I'm seeing this for you pile number three spirit wants you to know that actually your tribe is closer than ever so start affirming for yourself even in the comment section down below it's been a while that I don't give you affirmations but I am so grateful universe for the amazing friends that I have and you might say but I don't have it yet affirm this write it down in a piece of paper it actually sure it works I have one of my current best friends that she's always reminding me of that shout out to Lara by the way and she's always really reminded me it's like before I've met you I wrote down in my diary 
Thank you universe for the amazing friend that I have. And then what it was after two days, we actually met each other. And then we were starting to talk about how we will love to do like sex in the city and she's Carrie and I'm Charlotte, you know, that funny games that you do with friends when you really like a TV show and stuff like that. And we were like, but we need, you know, other two girls to fit in the picture. And we found them eventually and it's been lovely. And it's because we were grateful and we were appreciative of the present moment and it's just like the universe matches up and the universe responds okay and it will do the same also to you pile number three I see this with this uh, ten of pentacles okay and also in matters of career prosperity finances are going better after this challenges so yes fit the message where it needs to fit you know you better than I do right and I'm also saying this because you have another, a major arcana which is the chariot card and the chariot card is all about positivity it's about coming victorious it is about moving forward it is about trips or travel with family with the ten of pentacles or with a loved one or with someone special and it's like you go you girl girl you go girl, guy boy whoever you are whatever you identify with you can do this there is success for you pile number three there is a movement forward and there is finding your tribe like I can really see this and not only your tribe I I am actually seeing love, a real soulmate bond coming up for you guys with the two of cups. You are the only pile that had so many information about your life. The other piles were more specific, but for you, I am seeing that you are releasing like a mess. You are releasing things that were really making you cry, feeling alone, feeling betrayed, feeling backstabbed, having your thoughts like your energy pile number three was so drained that you couldn't even work anymore. Like like you couldn't, you were sleeping a lot, you needed rest. You were releasing all of that in exchange for a movement forward. And this is gonna be something new happening in your life. And I'm saying this because we also do have the Ace of Swords. So um, I'm gonna be honest, and I'm seeing this at 1111, by the way. Um, some of you are not really dealing with anyone specific, but this is gonna be new energy entering your energy field because of the release that you're doing. And yet again, it has to do with better finances. It has to do with victory, success in your work environment, traveling, possibly going back after such a common heavy challenge that we all had to deal with and new love new very strong bond happening for you better communications and also why better communications because we do have the eight of wands which talks about fast unexpected new opportunities popping up into your life and i really feel pile number three the spirit wants you to know that this is brand new energy coming up at you so for instance if you were thinking we have to see the other cards but i'm just saying for the moment if you're thinking about someone specific perhaps i don't know no, that person could be part of that ten of swords and that person could be part of the reason why you feel so drained and could be just leave it up there just allow the new to enter because it seems really really cool like sorry for the expression but it seems like prosperity and new opportunities and travel and soul bond like a person that you can actually communicate with and the vibrates at your same level that has the same values as you and friends and fun and especially like people that get you on a deeper level and they don't necessarily want you because of your coins or want you because they want to utilize you for something and it's so sad to say but there are so many people that still work in that low vibration to in this day and age like I say this all the time on my Instagram in fact I took a, I took a break for Instagram for this reason because literally every time that I go out it's like what do you do as a living and I don't want to answer this question. I don't want you to know as a first glance what I do as a living because I don't want you to figure me out about how much money am I able to earn. And usually when I answer I'm a YouTuber, they immediately, like I kid you not guys, they immediately go and look at my YouTube, which okay, fine. But then they go, oh, you're famous. You are 60,000 followers. And later on, they check on my Instagram in front of me. This is all happening. And they're like, oh, but you only have 9,000 subscribers. You don't do a lot of you so you're not rich literally this has been happening to me and it sucks like I really feel that if people are vibrating at this level 
sad very sad not to be judgmental but it's sad the first thing that you want to ask a person is like how how you're doing what are your interests what what's up with your life and just having a genuine conversation before you know how much they have in their bank account and it's just sad you might be dealing with people like that as well but I'm seeing you're not going to do this anymore. And I really feel that you are going to vibrate with people that really will want to have a genuine conversation with you and not because they want to use you for something and, you know, leave those people way, way, way behind. Everybody has their own journey. Let them do their own games. Now let's shuffle actually other tarot in order to see some other specific message. And then we'll see the oracles. Okay. I have so many cards for you. So stick around. So let's see, let's see. What are these new opportunities? What is happening? What spirit wants you to know, pile number three? There is love. There is deep love. Deep, deep love. Yay! The will of fortune. I love it. I love it. it. This is deep. Two of wands. And here is the thing. You're not going to believe me. You're going to be like, oh, this is another sugar-coated reading. I'm just going to listen to it. My help, my manifestation. No, it's happening. Like, I never, if you are not new to my channel, comment down below. Nea doesn't sugarcoat the reading. I'm direct. Like, I'm super direct. But you guys, I know you don't believe me. I know you have been uh, two of wands. You have been waiting for a while for things to shift with a fortune they will they really will and it's brand brand new energy positive energy good luck happening to you very very soon messages coming through now i'm also seeing another specific message for some of you we have the page of swords at the bottom of the deck pile three there is someone that is watching you you might not know this person you might not know this person who is this person there is someone that is watching you and there is change this person could be a sag a taurus a Scorpio or a Capricorn um, but there is like communication eight of wands ace of swords two of cups someone either is secretly in love with you and they are about to communicate that to you and it's gonna cut you to it's, you're going to be very surprised because Wheel of Fortune usually is very fast and very unexpected. This person has been watching you with a page of swords for a very long time. So that might be the new love if you don't know this person. Let's see who is this page of swords. The High Priestess, hmm, the Empress, and the Six of Pentacles is a gift coming from the universe. And this is someone that either you have dreamed about with the High Priestess, or you have a very strong tele telepathy with if you know this person. But it could be that you don't know the High Priestess is very... She's very secretive and you also could be like, this person might approach you and be like, hmm, I'm not sure I want to trust you. But the Empress card and the Ten of Pentacles, this is a long-term commitment that is going to happen to you guys. Or if you're not interested in love, there is something behind the scene that it's happening for you, pile number three. They, they, it's like almost like the universe has, has observed you, sorry my English, and now wants to bestow to you what you deserve finally what you deserve which is a lot of abundance and you feeling in your power whatever it is chariot card after the two of wands the ten of swords ten of pentacles you are closing a chapter in your life and you're moving forward like literally taking all your bag and moving forward for such a brand new positive energy that wheel of fortune is going to be quite overwhelming so wow love it so we do also have the card of recovery so we already talked about this pile number three okay about what you need to hear it goes without saying that it is time for you to recover recoup and just move away from this shade because uh, you've been through a lot you've been through a lot and you need with that two of wands a time for healing and just allow the universe to show you king of swords have some healthy boundaries show you how much after you recover how much of a brand new beautiful energy you're about to experience brand new think about this word brand new brand new 
Really, like I feel strongly about this. Then we also do have the light and love. So your purpose is to bring divine healing, light and love to this world. You are an empress, male or female, it doesn't matter. You are divine beings and you really know about this. You have been giving love to so many people. You have been so compassionate, never judgmental that I'm like, I'm in awe to this energy because you deserve all of this brand new energy that it's about to come to you. And honestly, sometimes you have been frustrated about what could have been your purpose it doesn't matter what you do you're here to awaken people you are possibly even a tarot reader hello fellow friend or you are someone that has a channel or a motivational speaker um comment down below i would love to see your channel but you really you really are here to bring divine light to to people and because of this, there is this bestowed blessings happening for you in the near future with the Wheel of Fortune. And in matters of love, well, brace yourself because you are about to experience the romance of a lifetime. This card almost never pops up in my reading. Like, I actually feel grateful that I finally get this card once in a while. But we do have the True Love card with the Two of Cups, with the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever romantic situation you have been through, you are about to really move away from the stink, from the crabs, from people that were not meant to be for you, and you are about to experience a very high spiritual relationship and the romance of a lifetime. I know you won't believe me, and there is this um, this song about Joss Stone that is like, girl, you won't believe me, and it, she talks about, girl, you won't believe me, that I finally found what I was looking for, something like that, like, Girl, you won't believe me that I finally find that guy, that I finally found that love. She's just singing something like this. I will remember the lyrics, but I don't remember the name. Probably it's like Joe Stone, girl, you won't believe me. But this is the energy. It's like, girl, you won't believe me. Boy, you won't believe me. But I finally found what I was looking for. And it most likely will have to do with also finding true love and the romance of a lifetime at last, which also reminds me of the song of Ada James. At last, my love has come along, my lonely day are over and life is like a song oh yeah, yeah I found the dream that I could lean to I then that I found my own I don't remember like I never ever 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 remember the lyrics sorry for that little uh, karaoke right there but at last, girl, you won't believe me, I found the love that I was looking for. This is what I can hear for you, pile number three. I love it. I feel so energized after this reading. So we do have also a channel message that I have for you. And we do have pile number three, kiss me deeply. Ooh. Then we have, I have someone else and I miss you. Okay, this is very, very specific, but that I have someone else is because I feel that many of you guys uh, were dealing with a player in the past, or you were dealing with people that were keeping their option open, or you were in a third party situation, and this is part of the shade that, to be honest, you're releasing. Now, releasing this person doesn't mean that they will never come back, but you are really giving them a very strong message of, I am not... I'm not a third party kind of person and I don't want this. I don't deserve this. I deserve better. So in case someone will come back and you know that this person is a soulmate, this person will actually tell you that they miss you and will want to commit to you with the true love card. That's only specific for a couple of you. So just let's put it in a corner. But for others of you, I have someone else. It's like, you will know that a person that you were dealing with had someone else and you're like, I'm done. I'm done. And now you are able to finally just say, I don't care that you tell me you miss me. It's like there are 7 billion people in the world. Go ahead and uh, manipulate someone else because there is a lot.
like not me I'm sorry and so you won't care about them missing you because they just you know that they have someone else and you will want to have some brand new energy and this could have been even for you pile number three like a karmic lesson that you're finally learning to say yes to yourself okay and then we also have the inspiration card this card is so beautiful because we do have uh, Egyptian gods so in a past life you could have had been in ancient Egypt or you are very connected to ancient Egypt and this is giving you a lot of inspiration but first this card also since is, is the color green I feel that you are a heart chakra person and you connect very strongly with people through the heart and your purpose in this lifetime pound number three is to inspire other people it's to literally like be a motivational speaker it's to whatever it is that you're gonna do is to bring this light just by virtue of living in your own power in your own consciousness okay Isis Oset, which is the real actual name, the ancient Egyptian name. That's why you guys always ask me. I don't call her that way. I call her Oset because that's her name. Oset, goddess of magic. I ask thee to bring you inspiration to me. And this could even be a spell. If you believe in magic, you know, guys, I'm a witch. And I have another channel dedicated to that in, in a positive way, right? It's law of attraction, right? And um, and honestly, I work with her a lot and she's great. She's the goddess of magic for the ancient Egyptian. And every single time, like I swear, every single time that I pray to her, I give offering to her, just like, it's same with Kali. It just gets manifested so quickly because of her power. But in a more general sense, you are about to experience so much more insight inspiration in your life new beginnings it's like a whole brand new world and at last the girl you won't believe me you are going to experience seeing what you always wanted to that was uh, very hidden for you but because you're gonna say no to either someone or situation that put you into the recovery stage like I am actually seeing you saying to someone like do you know like I almost went to analysis for you like I don't care that you miss me like this is not enough I want this I want true love true love that lasts for a long long time you could even be dealing with two people and if you are dealing with two people with the kiss me deeply you are going to choose the one that gives you more stability and actually true love that's only a specific message for some of you but be aware because there is going to be someone that actually has someone else that will actually text you I miss you you know what to do right okay so this is what i see for you pile number three i hope this reading resonated and made sense thank you so much for your support comment down below share your stories because you guys are so many check also my patreon for additional pico card spells and law of attraction and i see you guys later in another of my pico card readings